Hi everyone, I am the co-founder and CEO of Daytona, and today I'm gonna to walk you through our JetBrains Gateway plugin. All right, so when you install JetBrains Gateway, uh, you'll have a number of options to connect to remote development environments, and Daytona is one of them, right? Uh, it's super easy to start off, you just hit connect with Daytona, connect to Daytona, it'll open up a, a screen to authenticate. Um, I authenticate and it will send me back here. Um, all right, it's loading the repositories. And as you can see here, I can connect to multiple of my GitHub repositories. I can then pick any of them that are listed there. I can paste a GitHub repository or I can spin up other ones, right? And so, but also what's really interesting with Daytona is that because Daytona is not a SaaS, but a self-hosted solution, you can have multiple Daytonas around the world, one for your company, one for private or whatever it may be. And so as you can see here, we have something called profiles right now. And so um, what I wanna show you is that uh, I'm using a Daytona at the URL daytona.work and it's not here right now. So basically what I'm gonna do is create a new profile, um, which will be called daytona.work. So name, I'll call it exactly the same as my base URL. The base URL is just the URL um, and I hit new. All right, it'll ask me to authenticate and I will authenticate with this one. And as you will see, um, this Daytona here, dashboard, and the JetBrains Gateway has the exact same workspaces, right? So I think that's pretty cool. And basically you have the same functionality, be it in the browser and in the JetBrains Gateway. So you never have to leave the gateway um, if you wanna work in that way. So just showing you right now, uh, what I can do is I can hit this here and it will initiate the starting of the workspace as you can see in both in parallel. And once that is started, it will ask me which ID I want to use, right? And so as soon as that starts, I will go through the actual flow. And so here we are, it started. So I hit here, it'll let me choose any I, uh, IDE from the uh, palette of JetBrains. I will use IDEA and I'll click here and it'll actually start connecting, right? What's interesting to have the full functionality of um, JetBrains, it has to install everything on the remote server so that it feels and works like it would on your local, right? So that takes a couple of seconds to get up and running as you see it happening right here, but it doesn't take too long. And once you're in, there's actually no difference from when you were working um, on your local machine, obviously without the restrictions um, and constraints of the size of your machines because you can scale these to as big as you want. And so now, as you can see, it's connecting to the remote host and in a second, we'll be up and running in our JetBrains IDE. So here we are, waiting to load the folders, the terminal, everything. It's a very simple application. Um, so the terminal's there and it works. So everything that you want to do, you can do from here 100%. But for, the, for those of you um, that live in the browser and are working from the browser and want to spin up in multiple, I'll just try the second one real quick. I'll hit start. Um, and what's interesting is that uh, Daytona lets you pick from a browser ID, VS Code, and all of these other editors that are there, uh, right? We'll give it a second just to spin up, although I could have started it right away. And from here, I hit open, pick IntelliJ, and hit open again. It will ask me permission to go from the browser to JetBrains Gateway. I can hit always, it'll never ask me again. And I hit open and it will connect once more and go through the same process. So basically that's it. Um, if you don't have a Daytona, uh, go over to our GitHub and get your own installer, install it for yourself uh, and enjoy the ability to work remotely uh, on a remote development environment while using your local uh, JetBrains IDEs.